Welcome back to the Mr. G Show. Woo! Very good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, next topic for learning: distributive property. Right. So we just finished learning combining like terms. So we're going to use that idea with the distributive property. So, like always, when we see a crazy new word like this. Look at root words. Distribute. So distributive is probably telling us to Disip distribute. Distribute. And if I want to distribute, what's going to happen? Share something. Share something. So if I say, here's the homework, distribute it back to your classmates, what would you do? Give it to the Pass it out. So you're going to hand it out, right? Everybody gets their homework back. So distribute, we're going to like pass them out, hand back, right? whatever you want to say. Put some keywords here to remind you what distribute means. So in algebra, the distributive property talks about parentheses. We saw this a little bit with the order of operations. Okay. If I see a number out in front of a parentheses, then we could distribute that number inside the parentheses. And I told you when we did order of operations, if you see a number right next to parentheses, that means multiply. So this is 2 times x minus 3. So the key is right here. And then multiply. But you have to multiply everything in the parentheses. So what would we get? 2x minus 3. There you go. Just like that. That's it. Easy. Algebra is easy. So 2 times the x, 2x. 2 times the negative 3, negative 6. Done. Okay. You guys know why, right? Yes. Yes. Why does this work? Because you have to distribute. Here's a little side note for those of you who like to learn and want to know how, how it works. What's 2 times 4? Eight. 8. But some people get crazy when I say multiplication doesn't exist. It's just addition. It's a short way of adding. Right? 2 times 4, what that's really saying is Add the number 4 two times. So we get 8. Okay? So, yes, we multiply, but what you're really doing is Adding. repeated addition. Okay? So that's the same principle here. If I said 2 times 4 means add the 4 twice, then when I say 2 times x minus 3, what I'm really saying is do what? x minus 3 two times. Add those up x minus 3 with an x minus 3. You get 2x minus 6. Okay. So that's why this works. So the shortcut is to just distribute it. Okay. Alright. So let's do another example. Because that was just distributing. Let's try to distribute with combining. What? 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 Isn't that like that spoil? me. I don't st st stutter. <laughs> this plus 5 minus 8x. Wow. What should we do first? Distribute. Distribute. Because think about it. We're still doing order of operations. Don't you need we, the parentheses? We multiply before we add or subtract. Okay. So let's multiply before we add or subtract. Now here's the crazy thing. Some students will just multiply that 3 with everything. Don't do that. We only go inside the parentheses. This parenthesis, open parenthesis, says start multiplying. This guy, close parenthesis, says stop multiplying. Okay? Just whatever is in here. So 3 times 2? 6. 6x. Six. Six 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 X. X. Minus, Minus 12. 12. 
You, don't you need to put it in parentheses also? No. Okay. After we distribute, parentheses go away. Okay. okay. Write that down so you remember. After we distribute, parentheses go away. Now we look for our like terms. What are the like terms? 6x and 6x and minus 8x. So that's a negative 2x. And negative 12 plus 5. Minus 7. Minus 7. That's it. We're done. Okay. Questions up to there? No. Now's the time to ask. Oh. All right, very good. Then that's what you're going to be doing in your homework tonight.